Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. It used to be a time that when you needed to fill up your car, you'd go to the uh, the garage, you'd fill up, and you'd walk into the little shop and you'd pay over the counter. And that was fine. Uh, and then they changed it and you get these pay at pump pumps now. And uh, you stand there, you pull up, you get out your car, you put your card in the machine, you put your pin, uh, not your pin number, it's pin. Uh, you put your pin in, card gets you know, gets it you know thrown back out at you and you fill up now asda used to charge you a pound it would be as you put your card in and put your number in it would then charge you a pound and that was asda's way of saying your card's legit it will accept this charge uh, and then you fill up and then whatever the petrol was it would cancel that one pound charge and then just charge you the value of the fuel and that's fine uh, but asda recently put it up to 99 pounds which i think is taking the piss uh, what well, if you don't have £99 in your account? You can't fill up. Because even if you only want to put 30 and you've got plenty of money for £30, you've got £60 in your account, say, I want to put £30 of fuel in, you really can't. Because it wants to take £99 off your card. You know? So that was bad enough. However, however bad as that is, Tesco are going one better. They now charge you £120. I couldn't put £120 worth of fuel into my car. It is absolutely a joke. Anyway, I'll take a very quick look at this. And I'm only showing this because it really, really annoys me. Anyway, here goes. So Tesco pay at pump fury as drivers are charged £120 deposit every time they fill up at the supermarket's petrol stations. The deposit charge was first quietly piloted at selected pumps in June 21. But drivers have been left absolutely fuming over the crazy scheme. Yeah, I mean, it could be the end of the month. You might not have enough money in your bank and you can't maybe get home from work because you've got no fuel in your car. What the hell is... I understand the need to stop, um, like, fuel theft. But at the moment you've put, you've pulled into the car, you've pulled into the garage, they've got you on camera. They know your car registration. They see your face. And the moment you put your card in, they've got your car details anyway. It's not as though you're going to get away with it. It's not like the old days where it was just literally a manual pump. You pushed it in and went. But we're talking about pay at pump. You can't get the petrol out until you put your card in. And if it's a stolen card, well, if it's a stolen card and you've stolen it, you don't know the pin, you ain't getting anything. Um, and it's not as though it's a touch card. You actually have to put it in and pin it. So why? Why £120? Why so much? Anyway, furious drivers are being charged an automatic £120 deposit when they fill up at Tesco petrol stations. Uh, the deposit charge was first quietly piloted at selected pumps in June 2021 to replace the £1 pre-authorisation charge as part of an attempt to stamp out fuel theft. But the supermarket has been slammed after a driver was charged £120 after filling up with £15 of fuel at an SO Tesco in Ardwick Green in Manchester this week. Another driver was also left absolutely fuming after noticing the same charge had been made to her account after filling up at the same site a week earlier. Uh, the driver, Scott, told the Manchester Evening News he was shocked when he checked his account and saw the deposit had been taken. Now, I'm not going to go in. This is what they're doing. And, you know, and basically, I'm just going to say, fuck Tesco. And there's an easy way around this. We're all drivers. Everyone here, everyone watching this, 99% of us are going to be drivers, right? If you're a driver, don't use Tesco. Just say, no, en masse, we're not using Tesco. And tell all your friends. To, you know, avoid Tesco. We'll boycott Tesco. And tell them we're not going to use them until they drop this £120, £120 charge to something reasonable. You know, there is no reason for it to be any more than a pound. There's no reason for it to be any more than a pre-authorisation to just check the validity of the card. What they're doing there risks mistakes being make, made and a £120 being paid to Tesco and not being reversed because don't tell me that isn't going to happen. I've worked with computers long enough to know that shit like that happens. So this is a way of Tesco making £120 a pop off innocent drivers. Well, screw you, Tesco. Screw you. And I think everybody who, who drives needs to tell Tesco that they can go and boil their head. And we all just use a different um, a different petrol pump. I mean, you know, there's many out there. There's Asda, there's Morrison's, there's you know, Sainsbury's. It doesn't matter which one. Just avoid Tesco. And they, when they see that nobody's going to a Tesco pump, and when they ask why, and we all say 120 quid. That's why, wankers.
They might just get the message. Because the only way to hurt these people, the only way to change their minds, is to hurt them where it really matters. Their bottom line. Take the money out of their pockets and give it to someone else. Spend your petrol dollars, as it were, in Asda, in Sainsbury's, in Morrison's. It doesn't matter where, just not in Tesco's. And let's see if they change their minds. Anyway, I'm done with that. I'm going to come up, finish off. It's only a short one. It was just, it really, really annoyed me. Shit like this should never happen. Anyway, coming up. Now they're introducing this sort of stuff behind your back. They're not telling you um, what's going on. They're not telling you up front that this is happening. It's just all of a sudden you go there one day and bang, they're taking 120 pounds out of your account. And it makes you wonder what else these sneaky bastards are doing with your shopping, with your cards, with your information. Because you can guarantee it won't be the only thing. You go in um, and you know put your card over while, you, while you're shopping or something. What are they taking? What are they taking off your card? I know for a fact uh, that Tesco's club card is changing next month and it's getting virtually worthless. They're changing all these things. Oh, you don't get as much off on that and you don't get as much off on this. Um, and in fact, what, what Tesco do is they artificially inflate their prices for non-card holders to subsidise, uh, you know, the odd little bit that they knock off for those who do own the card. Uh, but then they have all that information on what you are buying and they sell that information, uh, which is why you get targeted ads. Oh, look, so-and-so bought this, this and this and this. Oh, they're going to be doing that. We'll, we'll target that. In fact, this is a true story. I've actually heard cases of people finding out that they're pregnant because Tesco have sent them vouchers for things like formula and for nappies. Because Tesco's got the big data and it looks at everything what people are buying and it says, people who buy this, do, 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 and this selection of stuff, nine months later, buy these things. And so they can see a pattern emerging in what your shopping habits and they say, well, hang on, no, no. It's all big data goes, somebody who's bought this, this, and this, and this, ah, well, nine months, they're likely to buy this. And so they send you vouchers for it. And there's people who sat there and gone, why they send me this? And they've gone and checked and they're pregnant. And it is frightening. But this is what Tesco does. Uh, and also, like I say, the club card's going rubbish. What I suggest to everyone is just dump Tesco's uh, and go somewhere else. Asda's cheaper and you get a better club card. Uh, actually gives you money, not special offers and shit. Anyway, um, enough on that. And I bloody hate Tesco's. Fuck them. So uh, thanks very much for listening. I do sorry about that rant, rant on Tesco, but uh, thanks very much for listening. Uh, and until next time, stay safe, stay well. Don't use Morrison's, they're shit. And goodbye.